watching the NHL on ESPN Plus. Home to the Stanley Cup. Welcome to the Music City. They love their hockey here in Nashville. Bridgestone Arena tonight. A matchup between the San Jose Sharks and the Nashville Predators. The captain, Logan Couture, has turned things on of late. What a great start this has been for San Jose. Off to a 4-1 and one beginning, the end of a long road trip to start the season. And they will match up with Philip Forsberg and the Preds tonight here in Nashville. As we welcome you to the Verizon pregame. And a building that can be the loudest in the National Hockey League when all the fans of the Predators make their way in. Set for hockey, Bob Wachusen welcoming you to Hockey Night here on ESPN Plus with Cassie campbell Pascal. And it's a weird start to this season, right? We've got four teams that are 5-0 and or better. We've never had that five games into a National Hockey League season. It's almost throwing some shade on the start the Sharks are off to. They are about as good as any team has been so far this year in the NHL. And maybe a big surprise. You know, I'm not sure if anyone anticipated the San Jose Sharks to come out of the gate like they have, especially after the season that they had last year. You know, they added Cogliano, they added Bonino, which definitely adds some veteran presence to their lineup. But, you know, Logan Couture said it after they played in Montreal. I'm having fun again. It looks like the team is having fun again. And how about the start that Logan Couture is off to? I mean, he's been on fire as the captain of this team, providing offense, providing leadership. And, you know, he took everything last year that went wrong to heart. And Bob Booger talked to him over the summertime and said, listen, you don't have to fix the team's problems. You just have to play. You just have to lead by example. And he's doing that to start the season along with his line mate and team Omar. They have eight points together, and they've, each of them have registered a point in all five Sharks games this season. So, you know, it's good that they're on the same line, and they're off to a hot start. As hot as the start has been for San Jose, at times it's been just that difficult for this Predators team to put the puck in the net. We talked to John Hines earlier today. He said, we're getting chances. We have run into some hot goaltenders. We feel like the production is going to start to show up. Have they solved that problem with five goals on Sunday in Minnesota? Well, I think so, and led by their captain. You know, we go from one captain to another, and Roman Yossi, you'll see him jump up in the power play and almost play that bumper position. You know, they, they have so much movement on their power play, which we saw against Minnesota. He'll also take the puck in and join the rush. He'll lead the rush. He'll bring it over the offensive blue line, and that's been a big difference. But, you know, Roman Yossi can't do it all himself, despite the fact that sometimes it feels like that here in Nashville. He needs the help of these guys. And in Minnesota, they got on the scoreboard in such a big way. Forsberg, a goal and assist. Ryan Johansson, two goals. Matt Deshane, three assists. You know, you look at the games against L.A., New York, and Winnipeg. Those three were a little bit stale, but they got back on the board in a big way in Minnesota. Yeah, Roman Yossi keyed two early power play goals on Sunday afternoon for Nashville. Special teams could play a big role tonight because no team, as Cassie pointed out, has been better so far this year on special teams as well than the San Jose Sharks. So it's going to be a fun building to be in tonight. We're excited that you can be along for the ride with us. We are just about set for hockey here at Bridgestone Arena. It will be the Sharks and the Predators in just a moment. This building can get loud. Just ask the guys that have played in it. I gotta go in Nashville. The loudest I ever played was actually in Nashville when we played three overtimes. It was like midnight or even 1 a.m. and then we sit cheering like crazy. It's the loudest building in the league.